Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Do you want to install a solid state drive in your computer, be it a desktop or tower machine, and yet you don't have all the necessary parts? Drive mounting brackets, serial ATA cables, or drive screws? No problem, I have the solution for you. What I have in front of me here is the Sabrent 2.5 to 3.5 inch drive installation kit, and this is a complete kit for $10. Over here, I have a selection of serial ATA uh, SSDs, and they are all good choices, but none of them come with a drive cable, a mounting bracket, or drive screws. That is what you would use this for. Now, to be sure, if you are the kind of person who has several computers and lots of spare parts and cables and stuff, maybe you don't need these. But if you're like many people and you have a computer or two, but you don't have all these spare parts lying around, you'll buy something like this very lovely ADATA SSD, which I do recommend, by the way, as these others. You'll open it up, and what you'll discover inside is it's just a drive. There's nothing else in the box. And so you go to put it in your computer and go, well, let's see here. Where do I screw it in? What screws do I use? How do I plug the data cable into the motherboard to hook it up? It doesn't come with any of that. Now you can certainly buy all those items individually. However, this kit provides all of them there. In fact, I like this kit so much, I have several of them. Why? Let me tell you what's in here. First of all, it's a two and a half to three and a half inch drive tray. It will hold actually two two and a half inch either hard drives or SSDs. Primarily, you're gonna be putting a hard drive, uh, an SSD, a solid state drive in here. Uh, because if you were going to go with a hard drive, you might as well just get a three and a half inch drive. But you could if you wanted to do that. So it's got a, a drive tray that will take one or two solid state drives and put them into the same space that a normal three and a half inch hard drive would take up. Second, it has two serial ATA data cables. Those are what connect your computer's motherboard, the, 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 the main circuit board in the back of your machine, to the actual solid state drives. The SSDs don't come with them and most computers do not have spares. It also comes with 12 drive screws. The reason it has 12 is because you use four of them to screw the, the tray itself, the adapter here, into the case and then you use four with each serial ATA drive to screw those onto the tray. Because it takes two drives, that would be four, plus four is eight, plus four sticking it in is 12, so it comes with 12 drive screws. It also comes with a one to two power adapter. If you want to install this into your computer and you don't have a spare serial ATA power cable in your computer, or perhaps you have one, but you don't have two, and you want to put two drives in, it comes with a splitter cable to let you split a four-pin Molex cable to two serial ATA power cables and power multiple drives. So this is a very complete solution for installing solid-state drives into a desktop computer. Now, opening this up, let me show you what comes inside the box. Having just described it, I will show you. Let me take the plastic off one of these, and I will put it over there in my plastic pile. Yes, I do clean it up. All my videos show that, but first of all, take this out of the plastic to show you better. This is three and a half inches wide. This is the width of a standard hard drive. But inside, you have two metal brackets, which is two and a half inches wide, which will hold a solid state drive. Now. There are two separate holes to screw them into. So you can actually install two different two and a half inch drives here and then mount this whole thing in your computer. Screw it in with these screws. There's 12 drive screws in this bag. And then connected with these two serial ATA data cables. And if needed, here is the power splitter cable that converts one Molex to two serial ATA cables. So this has everything you need. Now they do provide technical support if by chance you need it, but honestly it's pretty straightforward. Insert the part into the thing, put the screws in, slide it in the computer, and away you go. 
Now what I have done, just to show you, is I went ahead and took the side off of this case. This is an Asus M32 AD computer. Um, it's a cousin to the M32 CD, which I've previously done a review. This is the i3 version, that's the i5, but they have exactly the same case, so it doesn't matter. You would install your solid state drive in there, and then there are screw holes on the sides of the drive tray itself, and these correspond with where the screw holes on a conventional three and a half inch hard drive would be. And all you do is take it and slide it right into, well, there's a cable in the way. You gotta move the cable out of the way. But once you move the cable out of the way, it would slide It's hard to do when I'm leaning over it like this. You would not be doing that, obviously. You would be uh, looking directly at it. There we go. It slides straight in there. And then the screw holes are on the side of the case here. And then you would take, where did I put them? Here we go. You would take these screws and screw it in here. Now, you can take the other side panel off of this case. And there's actually a place to screw it in the other side. So you can screw it in all four sides. And then the SSD would be sticking right here with your drive and your power connector, just like the hard drive. The hard drive is sitting right below it. So you could put up to two solid state drives in this drive tray, and then you would simply take the, the data cable, plug it into the back of the serial ATA hard drive, and then you would plug it into the motherboard's uh, uh, port for it if you need additional power. Now this computer does have a free serial ATA power cable, so you would just use that. However, it only has one of them free. If you wanted to hook up two solid state drives, you would use this by connecting it to this right here. This is a four pin Molex connector. This would connect there, and then you would get two serial ATA power cables, boom. So for $10, this kit contains everything you need to install one or two solid state drives or any two and a half inch drive into a standard desktop or tower computer with a standard three and a half inch hard drive bay. Was this video helpful to you? Give it a like. Was it not? That's okay. Let me know in the comments below what you think, thoughts, opinions, feedback. I appreciate it. Big red subscribe button down there. If you've already subscribed, thank you very much. But if not, click subscribe to get updates on future videos and uh, all sorts of reviews and unboxings and other things. Is there anything else you wanna see about this kit? By all means, let me know in the comments and description below. As I said, it's $10. It includes two cables, 12 drive screws. It includes the tray itself. It includes a power splitter cable. Um, it's a really nice kit if you plan to install a solid state drive in a machine that doesn't come with a two and a half inch drive bay for one. A link to this will be in the video description below. That link will take you to Amazon where you can buy this. And if you found this video at all helpful, do me a favor and click the link in the video description taking you to Amazon. It is an affiliate link, pays me a small commission, but it is the primary funding source for these videos. So Brent did not send me any of these for free. I actually bought these. In fact, I bought several of them because I'm using these to put SSDs in all my computers because frankly, SSDs are awesome. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you next time.